Okay, today in this video, we're going to be working with the discovery board uh, made by ST Microelectronics, and it has an onboard 32-bit ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller, as we see here. And today we're going to look at the random number generator. So this microcontroller has an onboard random number generator. So if you need a random number generator in your project, you don't have to write any code. It has one built in on board. So what is a random number generator? Well, it generates a sequence of numbers that doesn't have any sort of pattern. Now you may think this is simple, but it's actually very complex to do. Now you've probably used a random number generator. If you rolled a dice, or flipped a coin, or turned a roulette wheel, or played bingo, or saw those lottery machines with the ping pong balls with the numbers on it. Now those are random number generators. Uh, they're mechanical and crude, but practical for their purpose. So they're random enough. Because if you would roll a dice for a million years, eventually you would see, a, you would see some sort of pattern. So to generate a better uh, random number, we use a computer or a microcontroller. So how they do that, they start out with a, what they call a seed. Now a seed is a number taken from an unpredictable source and usually uh, we go to nature for that. Uh, for atmospheric noise or radio noise. I don't know if you remember the old TV sets, if you went to an un unused channel you would hear that uh, hissing sound and you get the white, uh, white screen. That is actually uh, radio noise which is, which is uh, unpredictable. It's a random fluctuation so you could actually use that as a, a seed source. So the ARM microcontroller takes the seed, which is a number taken from an unpredictable source, and generates a 32-bit random number. So where does it get this seed number from? So here's one source where we could get the seed number from, and it's called avalanche noise. And we see a circuit here of a 5-volt zener, and 12 volts is applied to it, so it will break down into its avalanche mode. And the output will be a 5-volt DC level, you see here but you'll see noise riding on the 5 volt level. That's called avalanche noise and that is very random. And that's where the ARM microcontroller can get its seed number from. Now using a Zener diode is one way to source the seed number for a random number generator. But the way ST Microelectronics does it on their ARM processor is using a ring oscillator. So basically we have an odd number of inverters all hooked up in series and the last inverter is fed back into the input of the first uh, uh, inverter and that will, that will cause it to oscillate. Now the oscillation output will be a square wave but the period will, will have some jitter in it because there's no timing uh, components uh, in this circuit. There's no crystal or R RC components. So the output is, only, is dependent on the propagation delays of the, of the inverters. So the jitter that happens on the output is random and that's what the, the ARM microcontroller will use uh, for the seed uh, for its random number generator. So what are some uses of the random number generator? Well we can use it for encryption, for encrypting data, so we can encrypt emails or text messages. It can be used in gambling for generating lottery numbers, uh, for computer simulations, or even for games. If you want to shuffle a deck of cards on a computer game, you need a, some kind of random generator to shuffle the cards. So as you can see, Generating a random number using a microcontroller is not as easy as it seems. Now, if you had to write the code from scratch to build a random number generator, it would be a big undertaking. So the key to a good random number generator is obtaining a good random seed source, which the STM32F4 does internally. So if you have a look at my channel, I have a video describing how I generate random numbers using the discovery board. And I use uh, USB to serial module, FTDI module, to gain access to the serial port of the discovery board. And I can manipulate the registers to generate the random numbers. So if you have the need for a good random number generator, this might be the easiest solution.